We love buying these ribs from Costco. This Costco spare ribs recipe will show you exactly how to cook dry rub Costco spare ribs in the oven. And these are for pre-seasoned ribs, but you can use any rack of spare ribs that's raw and coat them with your favorite barbecue rub. It's super easy to oven bake spare ribs at Costco or from Costco. So here's how to cook them low and slow. And just so you know, I was actually recording this video in an Airbnb, so we did not have a sheet pan, which is why you'll see that I just use foil. It was a little bit difficult to just use foil, although you could just use foil, but I would recommend using foil but then putting it on a sheet pan. We just didn't have one at the Airbnb. We've been kind of quote unquote roughing it even though we're in this gorgeous kitchen. So anyways, let me just show you exactly how we did it start to finish. Look at them fall apart. So basically this recipe for Costco's spare ribs took about four hours plus then an extra 10 minutes at a higher temperature. So what my husband did, as you see here, he's pulling them out cooked, but we just took them already pre-seasoned with the barbecue rub that you get from the Costco ribs pack. Um, the price is probably about 25 or 30 bucks and we didn't put anything else on them. We just wrapped them in aluminum foil, two layers just to make sure they didn't leak out. And actually we put a, a tray we had at the bottom in case it did drip. But those cooked for four hours at 275 degrees. Super low and slow, we cooked them in two separate foil packs. And then when those were done cooking, you see all, there was so much juice at the bottom that it dripped off, but they're already falling apart at that point. So um, he cooked them upside down so the meatier part was on the outside. We didn't have to worry about cutting out any of the membrane on spare ribs from Costco. Um, these are just fine the way they are. They were a little bit more fatty than some other ribs that we've had, but look, they're just falling apart. So four hours at 275, <coughs> excuse me, <coughs> oh my God. Then take them out of the oven, put about two to three tablespoons of barbecue sauce on each one just kind of rubbed it in we're making these for valentine's day like the weekend before so i put little hearts <laughs> so um rub that all on the top as you see we flipped it so the meteor part was on the top um put the barbecue sauce and then left it unwrapped so they would get uh so it would get a little like tougher um outside the inside would still fall apart but um just put them back on the rack for 10 minutes at 400 degrees Fahrenheit and then they were done look don't these look so good I absolutely love buying these spare ribs at Costco I also smoke ribs sous vide ribs I do all sorts of things with these Costco pork spare ribs um rib portions <laughs> they really um this recipe makes plenty so we did both rib rack of ribs just because it took about four hours and ten minutes total but um, we had like two to three days work worth of ribs for the two of us plus a little toddler. Completely fall off the bone. Um, these Costco St. Louis spare ribs are so delicious. Woo! So I'm gonna leave you a link below that'll take you to my Costco shopping list. And you can follow along for more Costco recipe videos that I cook here at Sip Bite Go. Well, until next time, let me know if you have any questions and I hope you have a wonderful and delicious day. And I'm just gonna let this roll so you can totally get into this food porn situation that are these beef spare ribs Costco sells. We love them. All right, well, until next time, cheers.